Yo, peace was good, peoples. Hope all is well. Welcome to the install my CD collection. This is part 136. Man, whoo, man, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm so fucking hyped, man. I just want to just show off these CDs, but you know how I get down. All right, with, all right, enough for the banner. Let's just get on. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. This is probably gonna be one of my favorite um, uh, CD collections that I've done. So, um, so we're gonna cop a ticket. We're gonna go to the airport. We're gonna cop a ticket to the Big Easy. Man. We're gonna go to NOLA, aka New Orleans. We're gonna go show some Cash Money Brothers. One particular person that we're gonna talk to. My favorite member of the crew. BG with Chopper City. This was released in 1996. This is the reissue. I'm just happy to get this, and I'll talk more about the whole reissue and the difference and stuff like that. But yeah, Chopper City released in 1996, man. <sighs> fire, fire, fire album. Remember I told you guys about Young Buck with the song Welcome to the South, the trap house, that crack house vibes, you know, triple bean cutting and all that. This whole album is, is full of that. This album is is that, all right? This is that album. This is that album. This is the epitome of that shit, all right? Word. Fucking love this album. So happy I got this. I mean, mwah, like, that's how much I love this album. This album is, whoo, man. Let, let's, let's, go through, let's go through the list of songs that's fire. All on You, that shit goes hard. Uptown Thing, Waiting on Your Pick. That's my favorite song of the album, by the way. I love that song. Niggas don't understand future big time as that shit goes hard. Retaliation with Juvenile, Miss T and Bun B. Bun B of UGK, obviously. Niggas in Trouble featuring Mac. Mac that was on um, part of No Limit. And um it's funny because Mac he he did like a little interview. Um I think dispersing Masterpiece saying that he found Mac. But no, Manny Fresh found Mac first. You know what I mean? It just so happens he was he went to you know no limit, but you know he was with Cash Money first before he would you know that kind of thing. So Mac he said that on, on Instagram. So so that I threw that out there. Bad a bitch that shit goes hard. Um, all the twenty keys I fucking love that. That definitely sounded like something um, that KLC would have done around that time. Like beats about beats by the pound. Definitely around that time. Definitely around like. You know, something that could have been on, like, um, the Down South Hustlers compilation album by No Limit. Definitely sound like something that would have been on that album. But, yeah, All the 20 Keys, that shit goes hard. Fucking love that. Playing, yeah, this whole album goes hard. So much Death Reach and Keisha, you know, he, uh, uses the, um, the, um, the Be All Right sample by Zap. You know, they also use, uh, you know, by uh, Tupac, well, Keep Your Head Up. You know, he talks about, you know, his dad and things like that. Like, you know, it's just kind of like a heartfelt song. Uh, represent like this whole album is just so fucking dope man i mean come on a 15 year old 15 year old dude kid spitting that venom you know what i'm saying but then around this time this is when he started you know mess with that yeah you know that you know that dope you know that hair on you know what i mean unfortunately you know what i mean but i i hate to say it, but that's when he made better music you know what i'm saying but this album right here i fucking love that so getting back to how you could tell this is a reissue is um is the Universal logo, the Universal Studios logo. That's how you can tell. And then if you look at the um the catalog number, oh, you can't see because the glare. Um, it says U D and then whatever number that says. That's how you can tell that is a reissue. But either way, I don't give a fuck because again, even the reissue is hard to come by because it's trying to get the OG pressing. You gonna be spending some kilo prices with that, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad I got this. And yes, it is a real deal. Okay. All right. All right. So, ain't no bull legs in my head, man. But yeah, Chopper City BG released 1996. Mwah, fucking love this album. Love, love, fucking love this album. All right. Still in New Orleans. All right. Let me get a swig of water. Ah. All right. Then we got. Oh, before. I get into before I get to the next album. So the story with this album is that um originally because you guys know BG was part of a group called the BGs, um, which was him and Lil Wayne. Uh they have an album called True Story that came out in ninety five, which I would love to get my hands on, but it's just super hard of come by. But um 
I, I seen it for a decent price, so I definitely will scoop it up. But um, so the story with this album is that um, this was supposed to be their um second album, Chopper City, but Lil Wayne left the group temporarily. I don't know if he had what he had going on at that time. Um, if somebody knows, let me know what's going well, what happens. But um, this was supposed to be their second album, but like I said, Lil Wayne left the group. And it, BG was, you know, he had the, he held the album by himself, Dolo, and he did a great job. So I just had to throw that out there. If you guys didn't know that, um, that's if you notice, like with the early titles, um, you would say the BG, you know what I mean? But you know, like I said, this was supposed to be his second, their second album, but it ended up being BG's first album. It was like a blessing in disguise. So yeah, Chopper City, BG, this nineteen ninety six. This is ninety nine reissue. All right, now next album, Still in New Orleans. <clears throat> BG with his uh, second album, solo album, uh, it's all on you. This is volume one, um, released in 1997. Um, this one I had to get on eBay. I had to go on eBay because, um, yeah, it's trying to get it, you know, for like, you know, it, this album goes for a little bit of money. I paid maybe like, um, probably like twenty six dollars for this shit, to like close to twenty nine. But um yeah, definitely worth the money. Fucking love this album. Um again, if you guys like the first Chop City, then you'll definitely enjoy this. Um a little bit more polished um compared to the first album, but it's still dope. It's still that that triple beam uncut raw shit right here. You know what I'm saying? Um get your shine on. I'm pretty um believe that was the single of the album. Um there is a there is a like a documentary um, that came out like in 97, it's like an unreleased, but um, it's on YouTube where um, you kind of see like the cash money around like late 97, early 98, just um, you know, just like touring the, the south and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And like the promoting, you know, um, it's volume two, they were promoting that, they were promoting and uh, get it how you love, which I definitely need to get my hands on because. I'm goes for a lot of money, but I'll talk about that another time. But um, this is definitely an important album. Uh, reason I say that is because um, this album, um, they um, it debuts the group that we know as the Hot Boys, which is uh, BG, Juvenile, um, Little Wayne, Turk, um, and at one point Bulletproof. Uh, but you know, Bulletproof, uh, he only stayed for the one album that he left. He was, you know, a street cat. From when I heard, he was like a street cat. Uh, you know, you know, he was, he, he had a hot temper, and he ended up getting killed in 02. So that's how I throw it out there. But um, yeah, so this album, um, Duffy, um, is like the, the debut, of the group, um, Hot Boys. So I just had to throw that out there. And we got songs like Get Your Shine On, which like I said was a single. Um, in my city was fucking dope. Um, Round My Way was dope. Uptown Thing. It's the remix of the song of uh, Uptown Thing that was on Chopper City. Uh, the song Ride Tonight uh, featuring Hot Boys. Again, that's the song that debuted Hot Boys as a group throughout the world. You know what I mean? Um, and then eventually they came out with Get It How You Live. But it's another album I need to get. But that's just like expensive, hard to find. But I'm going to look for, you know, decent prices to get that album. And, you know, this is that nature. Um, Cash Money Niggas with Turk and Bullet of Hot Boys. Uh, fuck these hoes. Let's get funk. I mean, this whole retaliation. Oh, f yo, this song retaliation is fire. Fucking love that song. Um, gangster shit. Yeah, this whole a whole album goes hard. Uh, definitely very underrated, man. Very underrated in my opinion. Um, but yeah, very very good album. Uh, hold on, I, I gotta get back to Chopper City, man. It's gonna cause some controversy. I feel like this album goes neck to neck with Juvenile 400 Degrees. I kind of like it a little bit better than that album. I know that I'm going to get some shit for that, but I don't care. This album goes hard. I mean, that's how dope this album is. Sorry, sorry. I, just, I fucking love that album. But yeah, BG, with It's All On You, Volume 1. Um, and if you notice, like I said, it's the BG, because like I said, you know, it's part of the group, the BGs, you know, with Lil Wayne and BG himself. Um, but yeah, Volume 1, released in 97. Let's <clears throat> drink the water. Ah, next album, we got Volume 2, um, came out the same year in 97, I think this album came out, um, I think like probably like four or five months later after this album, because this album came out, I think like November of 97, and, but yeah, 
dope fucking album, another dope album. Um, you got songs like Don't Hate Me, fucking dope. Get Your Shine On, um, Living Legend, Hot Boys 226, About to Die, Clean Up Man, <laughs> fire. Um, I'm trying, You All In, Six, six Figures, Stay In Line, Ho. <laughs> I, I fucking love this album. It's just straight fucking ignorant shit, but dope beats and shit like that. Um, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Um, everybody, I know a lot of people, you know, f feel like Chopper City in the Ghetto, which I do have, is BG's best album. It's like his breakthrough albums, but I'm gonna have to say, like, um, these three right here, man, um, the trilogy, man, I, I, in my opinion, I believe these are BG's best material, in my personal opinion, and I'll, and I'll say that, and I'll, I'll defend that to the, de to the end, this is definitely his best material, definitely, Checkmate is dope, uh, Chopper City in the Ghetto, um, Life After Cash Money was dope, and all that, Living Legend, I didn't hear Living Legend, I gotta hear that, um, but, these, these albums, to me, that's definitely his best material, in my opinion. And, you know, this is, like, when he was in his mid-teens. Like, like, he was 15 when he dropped this. He was 16 when he dropped this. And he was 17 when he dropped this. So, I mean, come on, dude. And he was on that dope, you know what I mean? That heroin, you know what I mean? So, but, yeah, fucking dope. All right? We still in New Orleans. All right. And we got Hot Boys with Guerrilla Warfare, released in 1999. Yeah, man. I mean, fucking dope album right here, man. Uh, this is this is a fire album. I mean, known for singles like "We on Fire" and um, "I Need a Hot Girl." That was big everywhere. I, that song, even in New York, that was big in New York. But uh, yeah, this album definitely goes hard. I um, mean, you got songs like um, "We on Fire." That was dope. Uh, "Respect My Mind" was dope. "Help." That was a busy solo track. Um, "Off the Porch." "Get Out the Way." I'm not the biggest Lil Wayne fan, but clear the, clear the set. Um, clear the set, that shit goes hard. He killed that shit. The beat is dope, too. Um, what else? I Feel was dope. Um, Boys at War, that shit goes hard. Um, you Dig, there was a Juvi um, soul track. Um, I Need a Hot Girl, obviously. Uh, what else was dope? Uh, Tuesday and Thursday, that shit goes hard. hard. Um, about whatever. That's a Young Turk um, solo track. That was dope. Um, what was another dope song? Uh, Shoot first. That shit goes harder and too hot. I mean, dope, dope, dope album. Got this for a decent price. Got this off eBay. I think it's like twelve something. But yeah, highly recommended. Fucking dope. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, love this album. Very dope. Uh, and I believe they um. They recorded this on like one week, which is crazy. So I decided to throw it out there. But yeah, Hot Boys, Guerrilla Warfare, released in 1999. Dope shit. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next album. Got Hot Boys with uh, Let Them Burn. This was released in 2003. I got it for 399 Forgot to take that out. But yeah, um, yeah, another dope album. This is another album again. Um, this was like right after you know they left Cash Money, um, but this is pretty much like you know stuff that was in the vaults, uh, stuff that they recorded between '98 and 2000. So like a um, little bit before Guerrilla Warfare, and um, right after Guerrilla Warfare. So material that they recorded around that time, and so you're pretty much gonna get that feel. Like you guys like. Um, if you guys like that album, Guerrilla Warfare, then you'll definitely enjoy this album. Um, you got songs like, uh, I believe the single of the album, I believe was, uh, let me see what was the single. Uh, it was two singles, My Section and, um, Gangsta Nigga, I believe it was a single as well. Alright, so, standout tracks for me is, uh, Introduction, My Section, um, That Shit Goes Hard, um, Stick and Move was dope. Down Hit, Fire. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, spin the uh, Spin the Band. That shit goes hard. Uh, let's see what else? Three Strikes. That shit goes hard. These Hoes. Um, Gangsta Nigga with TQ. TQ dope. TQ at one point was part of Cash Money as well. Um, Jack Cool was dope. Um, Take what? Young Riders, Off With Your Head, 
up in the hood. I mean, fucking dope shit right here. Again, if you guys like uh, Guerrilla Warfare, then you'll definitely enjoy this album right here. Hot Boys, Let Them Burn, released in 2003. Again, this is like, you know, stuff recorded around that time period. Little, little out, like, you know, right after, you know, Get It How You Live. So I would say, like, more in the vein of Guerrilla Warfare. If you like that vibe, then you'll definitely enjoy this album. Hot Boys, Let Them Burn, released in 2003. Again, um, this is like right after. You know they left the they left Cash Money Records, so this is definitely like a cash in on Baby and Ronald's part. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, um, Let Them Burn by Hot Boys released in two thousand three. All right, now we're gonna go back. We get out of New Orleans. We're gonna go cop a ticket to JFK Airport. We're gonna go to Queens, Southside Queens. Let me get a sugar water. Go with uh, Get Rich or Die Trying, uh, the soundtrack released in 2005. Um, fucking dope, dope soundtrack, dope movie, too. Um, although I do prefer Before I Self Destruct the movie over this movie, but this the movie was dope, but I just prefer that album. I mean, yeah, the, the album and the movie in itself. Um, I believe the singles off this album are um, Hustlin's Ambition. Window Shopper was a single, Best Friend, um, Have a Party with Mob Deep, um, I Whoop Your Head Boy, those are the singles of the album, excuse me, alright, so, uh, Stand Out Trust for Me, House's Ambition, fucking love that song, uh, What If, 50 Cent Solo, House's Ambition is a 50 Cent Solo, um, What If, you know, he took shots at AZ, I don't listen to that whack, nobody listen to that whack shit, like, AZ, like, come on, hey, come on, man, like, that, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I love AZ, but, but some of his later stuff was kind of, <laughs> but AZ got some fire, though. Um, but yeah, what if that shit goes hard? Um, things change with uh, Spider Loke uh, featuring 50 and Lloyd Banks. That shit goes hard. Dope shit right there. Uh, don't need no help. Um, that shit goes hard. Um, do a young buck. That shit's dope. Uh, Get Low with um, Lloyd Banks. That was I. Uh, yeah, that was I. Right. Um, Fake Love. That shit goes hard with um, Tony Yayo. Um, I don't like Window Shopper. I never liked that song. Uh, yeah. Uh, Born Alone, Down Alone with Lloyd Banks. That was dope. Um, I don't know, Officer. That's that shit was dope. That was with Fifty Lloyd Lloyd Banks, Prodigy uh, of Mob Deep. Um, Fifty. Yeah, that shit goes hard. Um, no, I'm sorry. That was, um, you were a shooter. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if it's with 50, Lloyd Banks, Prodigy, Spider Loke, and Mace. That shit goes hard. Um, what was another dope song? Um, Talk About Me. That was pretty dope. Um, and then you don't see it, but it does have some additional tracks. Um, I Whip Your Head Boy and, um, Best Friend. Best friend was pretty cool, and then um I don't um whip your head boy that shit was dope. The remix with MOP was dope too. Um no I think the original was the MOP. Um the remix I believe was with Mob Deep um and then MOP as well. But yeah, it's a dope album. Um really enjoyed it. it has like a like really dark feel to it. You know just like the movie. But yeah, Give Us the Dark Trying the soundtrack. He's in 2005. Shout out to my nigga Mike, man. Mike says, man. Okay, he showed this when um he did um because me and him we was chopping it up. We was building about um smack DVDs, man. He was talking about that, you know what I mean? And he was sort of about how like you know we grew up on that and you know, he was collecting shits. And then I found this shit. Cause he showed that in the video on his video. If you haven't checked, I'm gonna post a link on that so you guys can peep that. Did a great job. Smack DVD volume one, the album volume one. This shit goes hard. Love this shit right here. Um, this definitely brings back to my, you know, my high school days, you know, a little bit after high school, you know, mid 2000s, late, the early to mid 2000s. Definitely brings me back to that time period. Um, you got songs like Gotta Get Mine uh, with DMX. Fucking love that. Gonna get my dad. Yo, Easy could have been on that um, Year of the Dog. Definitely could have been on that album. Uh, Stack Bundles, rest in peace to him. With a look, uh, look, nigga, you fool. Fucking love that. BG with real niggas, dope. 
uh, Blue Da Vinci work. That shit goes hard. I like that song. Not the biggest Blue Da Vinci fan. I know, you know, Black Mafia, but yeah, but the beat is dope. Uh, what else? Another Lord Tariq with um, It Won't Stop. That shit goes hard. I fucking hate Shay Davis. He is a dipset reject nigga. Like, he's just a disgrace to Queens. He's trash. I mean, I just never saw the fascination for him. Like, he was in every episode of Smack. He was on all the Smack DVDs. Why? I don't know. Like, it just... I think that was Smack's man or something like that. But Shay Davis was trash. Did not like that. I did not like that nigga at all. To this day, I don't like him. Uh, Mano, another dude. He, I think he's trash, in my opinion. Not that good. Uh, wasn't too crazy about him. Um, yeah, the rest of the songs are kind of, like, filler, in my opinion. But to me, like, the, the better songs for me, like I said, Gonna Get Mine, Look Nigga You Fool with Stack, BG, Real Niggas, um, Work, um, It Won't Stop was pretty good. And that's pretty much it. And then the song with Redman, Keith Murray, and Eric Sherman, Death Squad, pretty much. Um, don't Make No Sense. I didn't like that song either. It was very disappointing. Because by that time, Eric Sherman's beats was kind of like underwhelming. I'm just so used to like the early 90s, early, the late 80s, early 90s. You know, like pretty much the 80s and the 90s Eric Sherman production that I like. And it just, it just wasn't that good. So, but yeah, I'm just glad I got it. But yeah, really dope shit right here. Glad I got it. Uh, Smack. The album, Volume 1, released in 2006. Alright, got two more. Alright, we're still in Queens, but we can go to QB. We can go with uh, Nas, with his 12th album, Nas Air. Um This was released in uh, 2018, 2018. Um, I wasn't going to get this album, but the story with that was that... um. I went to FYE, right? And then I saw they had the Q-Pack version of um, of Snoop Dogg's out. The game is to be sold, not to be told. Because I have the, the original, like the jewel case version. But I saw the Q-Pack because the Q-Pack, the track listing is different. Because there's a song on there that's not on the the jewel case version that's on the Q-Pack. And, you know, it's just me being a collector, that kind of thing. But me not being, you know, you know, I'm thinking, you know, usually they're pretty good at certain things, but they fucked up because I bought it. I was so hyped when I bought it. The fucking CD was missing. Somebody took out the CD. I was so fucking pissed. So I bought it back. And then, so I was like, you know what? I gave it to her. Let them know what happened. Give them a receipt. Can I have a good rapport with them? I saw it as like, you know, let me pick it up. But yeah, um. This is Nazir, the album that, you know, him and Kanye Kanye West did the album with, you know, that kind of thing. Um, this was, like, during, like, the whole um, Kanye's uh, Wyoming sessions when he had that ranch, when he had, like, um, he uh, made albums with, uh, you know, um, um, Pusha T with Daytona, which is fucking dope. Um, he did uh, his album, Yay, um, Kid Cudi, um, uh, Tiana Taylor, and, you know, people like that, so... This is pretty much like part of that collective, like that whole Wyoming Sessions era of Kanye. And, you know, I'm not the biggest Kanye fan, um, you know, that whatever whatever the case may be. Um, I'm going to be real with you. This was not a good album. I did not like it. Um, me, Mike, and a couple other people on uh, Speak Your Cloud, we um, did the review on the album. And, you know, it was like a chore to listen to for me, man. Um, I only like two songs. I'm going to be real with you. Uh, the songs I like was uh, Bon Jour and um, Adam and Eve. Those are the only two songs I like. Um, everything else is kind of like, eh, kind of uh, so much filler. It just wasn't that good. Um, that Cop Shot the Kid was so fucking annoying with the Slick Rick sample. Cop Shot the Kid, Kid, Kid Shot the Kid, Kid. You know, like, no. It, it's, I fucking hate that shit to this day. Um, and I really tried listening to the album as it couldn't. It was just like a really bad album in my opinion not the best album there was some controversy because um i believe that um somebody else already had this album cover but before nas but then nas i don't know if nas himself took it or some somebody on the record label from mass appeal took it jacked it and put it on this album not sure but there's a big controversy about that but um yeah nas nas here uh, by Nas, this is 12th album, this is released in 2018, uh, not that good.
Last album, we're gonna get it out of JFK, we're gonna go to LAX. We go with uh DJ Aladdin featuring Ice T and the West Coast Riders with Sports Your Vest, Sports Your Vest in the West. This was released in 1997. DJ Aladdin, you guys should know, um, one point is part of the whole um, Rom Syndicate, and he was also part of the group called Low Profile with him and Dub C. Before Dub C, um, this is before when Dub C, before he was part of the Mad Circle and West Side Connection. This is like 89, and I'm trying to get that album. Um, oh, I forgot the name of that fucking album. Um, oh, what is that album? My fuck, I, uh, I, I just saw it too. Um, oh, We're In This Together. That's the name of the album, We're In This Together. Uh, that's the single of the album. I mean, excuse me, that's the name of the um, album, uh, We're In This Together with Low Profile. Uh, came out in 1990. I'm trying to get my hands on that, but that's just super expensive. Um, but this is what I guess be, be like a second album or a solo album. It's pretty much like a producer album. And um, pretty much got people that's, uh, you know, affiliated with Ice-T. So this is like an Ice-T side project. You know, DJ Aladdin slash Ice-T side project. Um, you got people like uh, Godfathers, LP, Gripster. Ice-T is involved in this as well. The East Siders, West Coast Riders, Headstrong. Um, Lebo, uh, those are the features of the album, but yeah, um, really, really dope album, really dope shit. Um, I found this randomly, um, on the internet, I saw it, I was just going through stuff. Um, this is like randomly, you know, I was just like web searching and things like that, and I stumbled upon this album, and I saw 97, and I was like, oh, I saw Ice T, I'm like, oh shit, because, um, I'm a big fan. My favorite Ice T album, believe it or not, like I said before, was Ice T's uh, "Return of the Real." That's my favorite Ice T album. I know a lot of people say OG, um, OG original Gangsta, or even Power, or um, you know, even some people say um, Home Invasion, or, and uh, you know stuff like that. But OG the original Gangsta definitely is Magnum Op is my personal opinion. But my favorite album would have to be "Return of the Real." I fucking love it. And this album definitely, to me, is like a continuation of Return of the Real, uh, just based on the dark production on the album. I mean, you got songs like uh, Sports Investing, um, you got songs like uh, What You Scared Of, That Shit Goes Hard, um, If I Gotta, That Shit Goes Hard, uh, Streets of LA, That's Just Dope, um, Down With Us, uh, Let's Get It On, uh, Nationwide East Side, uh, it's another dope. Hands of Time. That was dope. What's really going on? What really goes on? That shit goes hard. Um, Head them up. And uh, Boondocks. I mean, that's, those are pretty much all the songs. Because the rest of the songs are like, you know, skits and stuff like that. But like I said, it's like a... It, Production-wise, if you guys like Return of the Real by Ice-T, then I think you guys would definitely enjoy this album. Like, I just love how dark it is. And I'm glad I got it. I got it off Amazon for like a good... I got it for like night. 10 bucks or something like that, but yeah, glad I got it. Um, he's a Latin, I see West Coast Riders, put your best in the West, recent 1997. All right, and that's it, folks. I'm gonna ramble on a little bit more, but uh, man, I enjoyed doing this. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, definitely stay tuned for more. All right, peace.